Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Perfidious Pete Plays XCOM, The Long War. In our last episode, we did an alien abduction mission. We stopped some alien abductions and no doubt uh, various and sundry rectal probings as well. Um, we did get a promotion. Why, thank you. Yes, I'm aware that we need to do research. If I recall, I seem you, uh, Dr. Shin and Central, were making fun of you for quite a long time after you completed your research. But that being said, we do want to go ahead and start our new research, so... Yeah, we can build any containment and targeting module with We need money to build any of that shit, so... I appreciate your efforts to support... <sighs> God damn, Dr. Valen, you are so fucking annoying! Let's start a new project so we can get the fuck away from Dr. Valen so she will shut her fucking mouth. Um, yeah, Xenoneurology is a priority because it lets us build the arc thrower, but you know what? Wow, 30 days for advanced beam lasers, Dr. Valen? Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know what? We're doing them anyway. Suck it, Dr. Valen. We're, we're, we're not doing what you recommended strictly because you recommended it. So eat a dick. At any rate, we did get a promotion on our last mission, so let's go ahead and get our rookie promoted now that we've got our research and annoyance with Dr. Valen set aside. Take a look here and see who we had. Well, it wasn't John Mayer, that's for sure. Ah, Matthew Williams, I believe this was the fellow. Yep, here we go. Let's take a look. Now, I'm looking at Williams here, and there are really only two possibles, two possible celebrities we could go with for Williams. He looks a little bit like Brock Lesnar, but since I sort of like Brock Lesnar, seems like a fairly respectable individual, and he could no doubt pound me into a viscous goo with his large fists, we're not going to name him Brock Lesnar. Fortunately, he also looks a little bit like Reb Brown. Um, Reb Brown, probably best known for starring in the 1979 TV movie Captain America, but also was Lunk Chunkhead in the immortal Mystery Science Theater 3000 classic Space Mutiny. I think Lunk Chunkhead's actual name was Ryder, perhaps, but at any rate, we're going to name this guy Reb Brown in honor of Lunk Chunkhead and his many, many railing kills. Hopefully Reb will be as good at throwing aliens over railings and killing them while shrieking girlishly as mighty Reb Brown himself. Here's to living up to your namesake, buddy. Good luck. And then with that taken care of, we have no money. Um, our new research project has started, so I think it's just time to scan and go for a mission. Oh, looks like we're going to have a terror mission. Is this a terror mission? Looks like they've changed yeah, pretty much a terror mission. But why? Well, it's a terror mission, Dr. Shin. I'm going to guess that their ultimate goal is to probably cause terror. I mean, I'm fucking just spitballing there, but I'm guessing that's, you know, sort of the goal of terrorist tactics. No, no, don't run. Just stand there like Charlize Theron in Prometheus. Just wait for the ship to fall on you. That's right. No need to run. Lateral movement, not an option. And there we go. Thank you for delivering. Alright, let's cut this kid. Let's end this cutscene quick before somebody does abdominal surgery on Numi Rapace. So, we have a terror mission. Alien activity is swarming. That's delightfully comforting. Well, we're going to send a Sky Ranger, but for Terra Mission, we're taking our top team. There's no two ways about it. We're going to take all of the best soldiers we have available, and probably a Shiv as well. But in this mission, tired or not, you're still going. So we're going to single out our best guys. We're going to take Mel. Uncle Mel is tired, but Uncle Mel's going anyway, so we're going to make all items of... Actually, you know what? We may actually not take Mel. Um, sniper's not, not all that great on terror missions. We're going to have a ton of chrysalids. And with chrysalids, we really need people that are going to do a lot of damage quickly. So, we're going to take Sean Penn, definitely. All of our infantry guys are going, whether the, unless they're wounded and literally ineligible to go, we're taking them. So we got a laser rifle. And give him a scope as well. 
All right, we need another infantry that we're going to outfit with the laser rifle as well. I think that's Lohan. Lohan is tired, but she's saddling up anyway. Lindsay's a trooper. Also, she's probably doped to the gills on oxycodone, so her fatigue levels are, you know, debatably. She might not actually be fatigued. She may just be drunk. Hungover or not, Lindsay knows how to. She knows how to roll. She can party drunk. All right, let's see who else we got. We're gonna want some engineers, and that engineer says Kim Kardashian. She is one of our better engineers. The reason we're gonna want engineers, we're gonna need some grenades, a lot of grenades. We need to be able to do as much area damage as possible. In fact, we may take two engineers. We have another one who's decent and not overly tired. We do not. Are, are some of our engineers hurt? Oh yeah, bunches of our engineers are hurt. All right, well, just one engineer then. We're gonna need some gunners as well. We do want at least one gunner. Harris Hilton is tired. If we can avoid taking her, we would like to. We have Martin Lawrence. He's the same rank, a slightly lower aim, but not tired. So let's go ahead and take Martin Lawrence then. We we don't have the laser crap. We still haven't finished our laser weapon for Martin Lawrence. We do not want to leave him with the battle scanner. We are going to want to give him probably an HE grenade, something he can do. We want to give him something to let him move and still do damage. Let's give him a AP grenade. Who else do we want to take? See what we've got. Who's not tired? Kanye West is not tired. We can take old Kanye. He's a pretty good little scout. Kanye has a shotgun. Armor looks fine. AP grenade and a flashbang. We're going to actually get rid of that flashbang and take a battle scanner. Um, battle scanners are enormously useful. For uh, terror missions, because when there's so many aliens packed on such small maps, it's almost impossible to throw one without discovering something. So what we'd really like next is probably an assault trooper. A high-ranking assault trooper, preferably. We have Anne Hathaway, who's fatigued for one day, but we also have Taylor Swift. You know what? Anne Hathaway actually has more health, and whoever we take on this mission, if they're fatigued when they start, they are going to be injured when it's over. I think I would actually rather sacrifice Anne Hathaway to the hospital than Taylor Swift. That being said, I would actually make that same substitution in real life. If I had to put one of them in hospital, I would probably pick Anne Hathaway over Taylor Swift. So let's take a loadout look here. Um, yeah, she seems she seems fine, actually. And then, since this is a terror mission and it makes the odds of fatalities quite high, or at least being required to sacrifice a trooper or something, do something monumentally stupid or dangerous. We are going to take old Muffet, the robot shiv. Just in case we need to feed someone to a chrysalid, Muffet's going to call the ball. Alright, so we've got our team lined out. Let's launch the mission and get rolling. Though we're terrorizing South Africa, I'm sure Central will tell us that we're going to Western Asia. Strike one. Prepare for landing. We're heading to South Africa for this one, and we need to get down there. It's a sparsely populated area filled with a shopping mall. Place in a densely populated urban oh my God! They actually identified urban. You know. Once again, Central gets it wrong. A densely populated urban area. This is a fucking loading dock. We're on a dock. This is not an urban area, this is a dock. It might be adjacent to one. It's more of an industrial area, Central. Ah, oh, those guys. I, I, they, they trouble me. At any rate, let's get set up and hope try not to get anybody killed. We've got 18 civilians on the map, and our goal... Now on this, our goal is not to save civilians. I know Big Sky and Central are worried worried about it. We are not worried about civilians. It's not our highest priority. Shut up, Central. You're fucking... I'm telling my team something different. And you're interrupting me with fucking bad information. Our highest priority is keeping all of our operatives alive. In a Long War mod, they usually recommend that your first terror mission, you flat out skip it. We're not going to do that. Our goal is to literally save one civilian. That's all we're looking to do. We want to save one. The only other goal is to keep all of our soldiers alive. 
let's take a look around the map then. We're going to try and find a place where we can hole up. We're going to have chrysalids all over us, so we want to find a decent spot where we can kind of cluster up and get them beat down. First thing we're going to do, since it's going to have the highest movement allowance and is the least valuable team member, old Chivy here is going to take a move and try and spot someone. And no vision, and I don't see a single civilian anywhere. Looks like there might be one down there on the dock. One by that forklift. Okay. Well, slow and steady is the way to go on this mission, so we're just going to have everybody post up. Now with chrysalids, your overwatch tactics are considerably less effective with chrysalids in the mix because chrysalid pod leaders have lightning reflexes. And frequently, most they'll, they'll always move the pod leader first. The AI is smart enough to do that. To that and it makes most of your Overwatch shots are simply going to hit nothing. They're going to just get lightning reflexed by the pod leader. That's but since there are other creatures on Terra missions besides Crystalids, occasionally sometimes you get floaters and whatnot. We are still going to go on Overwatch like we normally would. It's also much safer than just dashing pell-mell, which is kind of a foolish strategy in any, in any mission, really. There now. All right. And let's see what we can find here. Now, we do have the Shiv, but I'm not going to risk popping a wave. So the Shiv's just going to overwatch. We have one civilian out there on the dock. If we have to, we'll go rescue that one civilian, and then we'll just hole up and kill anything that comes at us. All right, so it sounds like a floater murdered someone. And I did hear chrysalids moving. We're going to move our shiv down onto the dock. Alright, that's one civilian that we can see. And I would actually be fairly comfortable with holding up here on this boat. Seems like a pretty defensible position. But we're going to start moving that way. Got it covered. We are also going to check our battle scanner on this turn as well. Um, you know what, Gunner? You can go ahead and dash. You can't move and fire, so dashing is not a terrible idea for you. We're going to take Kanye. We're going to stick him on top of this cargo container, and then he's going to chuck his battle scanner and try and get us vision on some enemies somewhere. I'm going to just whip it out there down the dock. I still don't see any aliens, so that's good. That'll give us an opportunity to save one, two, possibly three civilians. And to facilitate the facilian saving, or to civ that's hard to say. S facilitate the civilian saving. We are going to actually start moving some people in that direction. Probably going to be Anne Hathaway since she has close quarters combat. She's going to be the best equipped to deal with the sec uh, chrysalid that runs up on her. But we're going to send her forward to try and collect that guy. And everyone else is going to fall back over towards the ship and just get ready to turtle up. Alright. Is it a chrysalid or a floater? Sounds like possibly a muton? Let, let's hope it's not a muton. I, I actually really don't want to encounter any mutons yet. We do not have really the proper loadout for mutons. Okay, that's that actually sounds more like chrysalids, maybe. All right, so we're gonna have Aunt uh, Hathaway can't get there. You know what, Hathaway, you're, you're gonna danger dash. All right, so that's one civilian save. So as far as I'm concerned, this mission is a success already because we saved a single civilian. But we're going to dash our Lindsay Lohan, our infantryman, to the top of this building. She will also rescue a civilian with this dash. As well as have a reasonable position to hole up in. It is going to be relatively hard for Chrysalids to get up there to get at her. So that's an additional benefit there. On the move. Kardashian's going to save that civilian. Drop into Overwatch. Our Shiv is just going to move forward and throw some Overwatch cover at Anne Hathaway. Until she's got a chance to sort of get back to safety. We're going to actually dash a couple more units here. One one unideal problem with this ship is there's not a lot of full cover. It has a lot of half cover, but not a lot of full cover. And if there's a muton on the map, full cover is going to be necessary. Those guys have much higher aim than any, uh, any of the aliens we fought previously.
I don't know what the hell that was. I don't know what makes that noise. Alright, so there's a civilian dead. Where's our shiv? Alright, our shiv's our shiv's one job here is to kind of pop waves. So we're gonna move him forward. Is that a civilian? No, what's a pigeon? And I do not see any more civilians kind of exposed. My guess is they're probably inside these buildings. And if there are crystals on the map, going inside buildings is not really a great idea. I kind of want to let them come out to us, if at all possible. So we're just going to continue our sort of methodical advance. Moving out. We are going to try to get some people up into elevated positions just to get better lines of sight when possible. Tempted to dash, but that seems like an overly risky maneuver, so... And this is a terror mission. We can't really afford to pop an unexpected pod on a terror mission. That could be the the thing that just gets everyone killed, so... And he's actually going to go on Overwatch. We have our Engineer Kardashian. We actually want her over this way a little bit. Hey, we have Kim and Kanye on the same mission, too. That's right, baby. If this mission goes well, we both come back alive. I'm going to take you in. Throw you on the back of my motorcycle and love you right, baby, because I'll, oh, yeah. Alright, we're going to see if Anne Hathaway... Alright, is that... Nope, that did not trigger a pod. Okay, so there's a chrysalid in that shark. And... The... We may want to back Anne Hathaway up, actually. Oh, you know what? Rather than back her up, we're going to put her up on top of this boat. Slap her under. Oh, well, we can't put her on Overwatch both. Chrysalids can leap like they have the augment. Um, Lindsay Lohan is now in a terrible position. Gonna dash her. We'd like to get her up on top of one of these boats, perhaps, instead. Okay, so we've got some floaters over in that direction. And our goal for this turn is going to be just to try and pop that chrysalid out of that shark with the shiv. That's another civilian loss, but again, we, we don't care about the civilians at all. So, Kardashian actually has a shot, 69%. We're going to go ahead and take that. Oh, that's a miss. Keep an eye out for anything else the chrysalids might be nesting in. Let me grab our shiv, advance him. Now this is not a pod leader shiv, so he will not have lightning reflexes. So if everything goes awry, we can at least set up to try and bring him down with Overwatch. But it looks like we should be able to take him out without having to resort to any kind of extraordinarily unusual measures. We really just need one other person who can get sort of a decent shot at him. And that may be Anne Hathaway with a run and gun, actually. Yep, I'm actually we're gonna we're gonna run and gun Hathaway. This'll either get the kill or Hathaway's doomed. I was seriously worried that we were gonna find those floaters. All of them have gone into Overwatch. We're still gonna kill. The chrysalid because it's honestly the most dangerous thing that was listed there. So we now have Overwatch, but this is Kanye, so if anybody's gonna pop the Overwatch shots, we want it to be him. Alright, and he didn't even get it done. And Hathaway is just in a terrible position. She's gonna get blown to fucking chunks. We have a 49. Our only chance to save Hathaway here is we're gonna actually we're gonna suppress that alien. It gives us hollow targeting, so anybody else that can see him will have uh, increased chances to hit. Mostly we're going to do that, however, because if we can keep him suppressed, maybe he will miss Anne Hathaway. Arguably, also, if we can get anyone up there to put a smoke grenade on her, we would really like to do that as well. Doesn't look like we're going to have anybody with an opportunity to get smoked down, though. So we're going to move our infantry there. Leaving, that leaves no place good for Lohan. 
She's got to be in some kind of cover at least. You know what? We're going to bring Lohan over sort of around in a end around. And we're just going to have to pray that the suppression is enough to keep Anne Hathaway alive. It must be a civilian probably getting the grease over here. That is one thing we do have going for us, actually, is it's possible that some of those floaters... Oh, great, we have more chrysalids. That's terrifying. Um, but if we're lucky, it is possible that some of those floaters might try and kill civilians. I have a feeling, though, they're just going to put bullets in Anne Hathaway's head. Yeah, she's dead. Well, we said if we had to pick one to put in the hospital, it could either be Anne Hathaway or Taylor Swift, and we got our wish. It was indeed Anne Hathaway. At this point, though, that really reduces our overall firepower. We may have a difficult time just getting out of the mission. And these aliens are not... It doesn't look like they're willing to move forward at all. They're going to let that chrysalid come and try and put us in the Hurt Locker. Speaking of which, where is that bastard? Well, since Hathaway got greased, we can't even see the chrysalid. If history tells us anything, it's that Kanye West gets hit by every Overwatch despite having lightning reflexes. He actually bucked the odds this time and got one to miss. Also, we're blaming Kanye West for Taylor Swift's death. Or for Anne Hathaway's death, rather. I'm going to go ahead and take the 49% with the hollow targeting. Didn't get to kill? Wow. Alright, we're going to... What's our shiv got? Alright, there's the chrysalid, and it's still quite a ways back. We're going to bring our shiv over here to help support. Um, if you only has, yeah, well, he has a higher percentage there because of hollow targeting. Let's let's go ahead and actually, I would prefer to get a different target. Let's take a, a worse shot at. Uh, probably wasn't the brightest idea, but okay. we were running the risk. Now we don't want to draw any more Overwatch. Seventy-six percent for Sean Penn. We'll take it. Kill. We need to get Kim into a sort of a, a position where she can at least bring something to the fight. And now we've got Kardashian and Lohan both in terrible support positions. We're kind of bringing them around to try and help out Anne Hathaway, but we probably should have just written her off as a lost cause as soon as she popped the pod. Now that chrysalid should not be able to get to and kill Kanye both in the same turn. And I believe Kanye also has close quarters combat, so if that chrysalid comes any closer, he may pop him again. Alright, so we've got a floater moving in. Taking a shot at our shiv. That's okay, actually, that's the shiv doing its job. Alright, so we've got plenty of shots with our gunner. We're going to take the 69% at the Chrysalid. It does, all right. If it hadn't killed it, it would have at least given him the hollow targeting and making everyone else's shots more likely to hit, but the kill is good too. Tiny has two 1% chances to hit. That's fucking terrible. Alright, now there is a floater over here. We are going to bring our shiv around. Flank. We're just going to go for the flank shot and the kill. Our shiv is totally, it's the one thing we have that's absolutely, completely expendable. So we don't mind putting it in the riskiest of positions. We have no investment in the shiv at all. Yes, Commander. And Overwatch. Now, Kanye is a reckoning reflexes, true, but neither of these guys is on Overwatch. We're going to advance him over here to this full cover. Any better shot? Still terrible. Overwatch for Kanye, then. And in the meantime, we're going to start advancing other troops. God, Lohan, you're in just an awful position. We're going to bring her to that full cover. And that's going to leave us Kim Kardashian, then, with our Overwatch support. Oh, uh, that is not good at all. Okay, there's the lightning reflexes that's going to pull all of our Overwatch fire. Enemy 
Now, if anyone else has Overwatch, they shouldn't be shooting at the pod leader. They should shoot at one of the ones they have a chance to hit. Because it was in front. I agree. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of fucking enemies. Alright, this is not good at all. But, on the one thing we do have going for us, we do have... Kim Kardashian in range to throw a grenade. She is our grenadier and sapper. So we're going to have her drop one right there. We still may not be able to kill all of these. But it'd be nice if the cursor would fucking hold still. Alright, we're going to drop it right there. Kim is our sapper. We got pretty good damage out of that, actually. Do we have anyone else with a grenade? Great, our shiv is out of ammo. Kanye has a grenade. Well, the grenade for even having Kanye throw a grenade is going to be more useful than basically anything else he could do. Okay. So we're going to have Kanye also throw his grenade at this pod. His will likely do less damage, but some damage should be enough. Or maybe not enough. Alright, Lindsay Lohan, start wrapping up the shooting here. That's a hit. Take your second shot. Alright. Man, Lindsay's down in those like they're shots of Jaeger. And that brings our other infantry here. I got a hit there. We're gonna put him on Overwatch then. Now we do have... It says he's got squad sight on someone, but I'm not exactly sure who that would be. Um, our shiv is completely out of ammo, so we're gonna have it fall back into here where it'll be in either full cover just out of line of sight then the shiv is going to reload and we are actually going to put our gunner on overwatch there's just a fucking armada of assholes that are coming up on us we're going to want to have as much defensive fire as we can yeah I think that emptied his clip that emptied Sean Penn out but Penn's going to have to reload And we have one overwatch. And these guys are going to be butchering some more civilians, probably. Alright. Still no shots. We do not have a lot of great cover opportunities here. Now, we do have some overwatch. We're going to have Kanye dash around here. Get a 60%. We're going to, Actually, that's pretty good. We're going to take it. Alright, nice shot, Kanye. Good work, buddy. I know I would routinely not have occasion to praise you, but uh, in that situation, actually, uh, I think you did fine. All right, so Lohan's got a 66 and a 66. One of those is on Overwatch. Let's take this shot for the kill. All right, that's going to be a miss. We're going to have Lohan fire again, actually, at the same target. All right, that's a kill. The so Lohan delivers. We're going to bring our shiv just forward enough to get sight. Take a look at... Oh, his hit percentages are just awful. Um, we're still going to take it. 40%. Yeah, that's a miss. But if anything, it, it, it will serve to probably draw fire. We're going to move Sean Penn up here. He's in a, not a great position, but he's got to reload. And we need to clear some real estate so some of our other units can advance. Now, we do have an Overwatch, but I don't think... I think Kardashian will be able to move forward without triggering it. Alright, she can. She's going to take a 49%. That's good enough. That's a hit. Man, Kim Kardashian has been delivering. She's like a fucking U.S. male, baby. And we're going to have Martin Lawrence pull forward. He's still got plenty of ammo. So we're going to have him hunker down, actually. Alright, our shiv, that's fine. Doing its job, taking hits. If we need to, even if it's destroyed, we can always rebuild it. It only costs 50 credits. So even if we have to rebuild it, that's not, that's not the worst fate it could suffer. I think he's taking a shot at Kanye. Kanye was in full cover, so I wasn't too concerned. Take a look and see what his... 49%, we're just going to take the, the hit chance and get the hollow targeting up. 
That's okay. There's no need to suppress that alien, so... Kardashian needs to reload. We're going to go ahead and have her do that. Lohan also needs to reload, but she's going to step aside. Then reload so that Sean Penn can rotate in and get a shot. We would like to get the kill on that pod leader. Alright, and Penn puts him down. Kanye, even if he advances, is still going to have a, a very poor shot. And there is effectively no cover anywhere down there that I'm comfortable putting him in. We'll come back to him. We may have our shiv advance and just take what... Yeah, we're going to have our shiv go for, as far forward as possible and take the best shot it can get. Even if that's not a... Even if it's a terrible shot. 40%. Seems like all the shiv can get is 40. Can he finally deliver, maybe? Oh, and the Harold Pinter pause once again, but he does come through for us, so... The sad thing is, is that will probably spell the end of our shiv. We are going to have Kanye come up and go in Overwatch. It, this probably will not connect. It's a very long shot. Yeah, we figured that would miss. Let's see what he's going to do. Is he going to shoot at the shiv? Alright, well there's something in there that's still firing. There's at least one more floater inside that inside that container ship. We need to get vision in there, and the shiv is almost down, but he can get a flank kill before he goes out, so we're gonna advance him. Take his flank shot. Only 89% even with the flank, wow. But that is a kill. And we do know there are still aliens on the map and active. We can see him killing civilians. Gonna overwatch. We are gonna need to start moving some of our troopers forward since I think we've exhausted most of the aliens that are in this neck of the woods. Bring Lohan up. We're gonna put her on overwatch. We're gonna have Martin Lawrence dash. I really don't like the position for Kanye at all. We're gonna have, you know, this is only half cover, but we're gonna have him take it. Should have gone over here and hunkered down. That was a bad click. Have Kardashian, there's no cover there. Uh, we'll have Kardashian take cover behind those barrels then. And then we're going to see if anything comes out of that cargo ship. If not, we're going to send the ship in. Alright. Well, we were going to send the ship in, except the ship is freaking out of ammo. So the ship is going to reload. We're going to advance Sean Penn slightly. This half cover really makes me uncomfortable. So I'm fairly certain I heard a muton earlier, and if a muton comes out and shoots at someone in half cover, it's almost certainly going to connect. And with the damage mutons deal, it's likely going to kill them. Alright. Kanye, really? Alright, we're going to just advance Kanye to the side of this cargo container, and we're going to have him reload. And we're going to have Lindsay Lohan... Bring up the rear, just drop into Overwatch, cover Kanye a little bit as best she can. Martin Lawrence is going to come up to this full cover. He's going to reload. And so we've got some activity. I'm thinking that's a floater. Yeah, that's a floater. Now, uh, there's a dead whale in there. Um... In the regular mission, these things will all pop chrysalids. I don't know if that's going to happen. Or in the Newfoundland mission, at any rate, I say the regular mission. I don't know if that's going to happen, so we're going to just be very conservative here. Alright, and then we'll probably have Kanye go on Overwatch. If anything's going to come out of those, it will be a regular chrysalid, which means Overwatch shots will still work. going to advance our shiv nothing. Right. It's possible that those things are up on the top deck. Tempted to put somebody on the roof, but that last time we went on the roof didn't exactly pan out so well for us. So we may move around up through this building. We're just going to start heading that way very cautiously. We have no idea what's over there, so... Bring Sean Penn to this full cover. Overwatch. 
Martin Lawrence, he really needs to dash, but he does not have a single... You know, you know, this dash should be fairly safe as far away as it is from enemy action. I'm okay with that. Um, that should be a safe dash as well. We're going to take safe dashes when we can. If we know one is not likely to pop a pod or get a shot in the head by whatever's lurking on top of that ship, we can take those if we need to. Now, I do want to come up here, but I'm doubly concerned about Kardashian because she is both next to what may spit out a chrysalid and then also will be looking at some unfamiliar territory. So we may hop her up here, and then if anything dire happens, we'll jump right back down. Looks, looks fairly clear. I'm okay with putting her on Overwatch then. I'm almost convinced now, certainly, that that alien is on top, is on the upper deck of that ship. Overwatch. We do have a way over there. We can go up these steps. We're going to move our shiv. Just, we're going to take a look with the shiv. If he spawns anything too dire, we can't always have him sort of run away. Got a good movement allowance. I'm going to move Sean Penn over here. And drop into Overwatch. Martin Lawrence is going to run behind these 50 gallon barrels. And we're going to have Kanye take kind of a risky move. Alright, so that alien is certainly. he It's on the upper deck then. It's the only place left it could be. So we're gonna try, we need to try and get eyes on it. We're gonna have Lohan move up here. Still no vision. Where's our shiv? Bring our shiv up. Can the shiv make it up to the deck? No, he cannot. Alright, so let's bring our shiv up as high as we can. Oh shit, that's Kanye. Fuck. Alright, so Kanye's going on Overwatch then. Where's the shiv? We're gonna bring our shiv up right next to Kanye in support, and since Kanye is in a terrible position, we're gonna put the shiv on Overwatch as well. We're gonna sort of need to maximize that. Kanye went for the aggressive move, trying to bust a dope rhyme. We're gonna actually advance a little bit with Sean Penn, put him on Overwatch, just so we can get Martin Lawrence a better firing position. In a pinch, Martin Lawrence will dress like a fat woman to escape danger. So if everything goes wrong and he's the last man alive, he's going to dress like Big Mama and try to sneak out of the mission by himself. Is there anything up here? There's no cover. Well, let's take cover behind the chrysalid shark. I'm going to do that just because it's funny. If a chrysalid pops out of there and kills Lindsay Lohan, I'm not even going to feel too bad. Also, we have enough overwatch shot. I think if one actually does jump out, we'd be able to kill it anyway. Alright, now, this time we are actually going to move Kanye first, and we're going to do it on purpose, because Kanye's got our lightning reflexes, and if anything appears on overwatch, we want him to spawn it, and then he can run back downstairs. It's nothing. Interesting. We're going to bring our shiv up. If there is a civilian there, is the, the floater maybe up even higher still? He's going to go into Overwatch. And Kanye is going to come right here and also go into Overwatch. I, I don't really want to move anyone else until we get this whole what's on the ship situation settled out. I'm, I'm really getting kind of concerned. Okay. So the alien's over there now? How can that be a whole... How can there be a whole pod that's just hidden from us? Alright. Where's Sean Penn? He can't get to anywhere good. I'm going to put him on Overwatch. Lawrence is going to Overwatch. We're going to take Kanye, or get Kanye. We're going to have him rescue this civilian. You're safe. Now get out of here. 
and he's going to go on Overwatch. Now we want to. We at this point we almost are willing to sacrifice the shiv just to find out where the hell that pod of floaters is. And still no vision. Um, these guys until until we figure out where this pod is, it's going to be a lot of Overwatch. We're just going to play this very calmly. We've already lost one fairly high-ranking trooper on this mission. We cannot afford to lose another. Getting it done. Let's have pen. Nope. Overwatch for Pen, Overwatch for Lawrence. Where's our Shiv? We've got to find this pod. Still nothing. Overwatch for the Shiv. Gonna bring Kanye up, just sort of escorting it. Seems like a new fall comedy on Fox. Kanye and the robot Shiv! Be like a buddy cop movie, except with Kanye West in a sort of robot. There now. This is just where I'm now. I'm starting to scout around to see if there are any other aliens lurking anywhere on the map. If there are other aliens besides the one invisible pod that keeps dashing around that we can't find. What was that sound? Well, it's that same pod of floaters that we can't fucking find. Only now it says it's coming from straight ahead of us. Up there, finally. Okay, it looks like we finally spotted it. All right, so we got a hit. That was the end of the mission. Okay. So Anne Hathaway making the noble sacrifice to save the good people. Um, actually, a better end than really Anne Hathaway probably could ever hope for or deserve. So. I feel she died a good death. I, I'm actually a little disappointed by that, but uh, yeah, that's okay. I guess she had her Catwoman moment in XCOM as well. After nearly a decade of suck, she, she finally Catwomaned up and had one decent performance, or at least one performance where she didn't absolutely ruin the film. So Anne Hathaway goes on the wall of shame with all our other slain troopers. Really, she only had five kills and six missions, which isn't too amazing anyway. So we say goodbye to the princess herself, and we're going to promote everyone else. And Martin Lawrence has got a nickname, so we'll take care of that. I'm um, going to take Shredder Ammo. Heat Ammo is good for robots. Ranger is nice. It does to help your, it does improve your aim as well as your will and gives your all your primary weapons one additional damage. Shredder Ammo, however, is fantastic if you use the heavy weapon, the, like the light machine gun. It's just for four turns after you hit something with that, it takes extra, it uh, just takes extra damage. So, Shredder Ammo it is. You can build and equip Shredder Ammo later, but rather than take up an equipment slot with it and take Ranger, I'm more comfortable with just having Shredder Ammo. And, oh, Sean Pan also promoted to the point where he gets a nickname. Fantastic. Is Opportunist. Ranger or Gunslinger? Gunslinger is shit. Opportunist is interesting, but we're actually not going to take that. We're going to stick with Ranger. And how do we do? Three meld. Oh boy. Delightful. Alright, so panic in South Africa increased by 14, which is a shitload. Let's take a look at our situation room and see exactly how panic South Africa is. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Well, Dr. Valen is punishingly stupid, so her having a ridiculous and foolish idea should not at all surprise you, Central. Again, just sort of reinforcing my already desperately low opinion of you. Um, South African panic is actually okay, so we did pretty well on that terror mission. I guess 11 out of eight, or 11 out of 18 must be above the bar as far as the massive panic goes. So that turned out fairly well. Um, we are going to just quickly nickname our guys, that way we don't have to do any soldier maintenance at the start of our next episode. As for Sean Penn, we're going to customize him. He's going to need a new nickname. It's going to be Sean Deadman. Well, Deadman Walking Fit? Nope. So it's just going to be Sean Deadman Pen. Alternatively, it could be Sean... Oh, you know what? It's going to be... Actually, we're going to change that a little bit. Will you... Change his nickname. Sean No Angel Pen. Alright, he's No Angel, and we all know it. Including his ex-wife, Robin Wright. And, although I don't know if she still has the hyphen now. 
But I think she would avow that also he is no angel. And then for Martin, um, of course, Martin, as we alluded to earlier, wants to dressing up like a giant fat woman. And honestly, the armor that he's sporting here sort of looks a little bit like the big mama suit. So I think what we'll do then, we're just going to give him a nickname. It's going to be Martin Big Mama Lawrence. All right. And with all of our names assigned then, our first terror mission complete with... Sadly, the loss of the beautiful and seductive and ridiculously obnoxious and mediocre of mediocre talent Anne Hathaway. The tragic setback for the XCOM program, although I don't think anybody's really going to miss her. But with that, we are going to end the episode. So if you enjoyed it, drop a like in the comments section. I appreciate it. It really helps out a lot. And I do thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon.